Big news leaked as the judge unseals all court documents against Amber. If you want to know everything about the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp defamation trial, then it's your lucky day. The judge during that trial wants to unseal every single document that was presented. She's sick of Amber filing for things that are sealed and just like us. She wants the actress to move on. Amber Heard files new documents with the court alleging juror misconduct in her effort to get a new trial. But Johnny Depp's lawyers say not so fast and claim she's just trying to get out of paying. This comes as one of her insurance companies sues her. The verdict was already given and the jury wants her to pay her ex-husband for all the defamation and the harassment, just as she should. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Her lawyers are against this though, but thank God for the judge. We're dying to know the truth. Judge Penny Ascara didn't just reject Amber Heard's request for mistrial. She also planned to unseal everything during that June 24th trial. I guess she also saw what Amber and her team of so-called lawyers were doing post-trial. Her exact words were for the dozens of court documents to be unsealed, including motions seeking to compel independent medical examinations of both Depp and Heard. Wow, she's really doing this for the win this time. Actually, this was supposed to be unsealed even before the trial but they were scared that the jury might change their minds once they saw the sealed documents. Our bet is that they would have automatically sided with Johnny Depp because have you seen the evidence Amber's team presented in court? Metadata experts were quick to claim that those were all heavily edited. What more if they saw those beforehand? The drama didn't end after the verdict was given, and we all know that. So we have Amber's lawyers who kept filing things that were still sealed. Elaine Bredehoff going on TV shows and interviews to present her monologue on blaming the jurors and the judge for their loss, which totally put her career on the line. A number of things were allowed in this court that should not have been allowed, and it caused the jury to be confused. And then there's the whole insurance fiasco. We think Judge definitely felt secondhand embarrassment for that, because we really did and we don't have anything to do with the whole trial. Imagine, a literal insurance company refused to help Amber Heard in court because it was proven that what she did was truly evil and malicious. She had no more way of solving that so now she's turned to doing worse things. The last straw for the judge was when Amber, her legal team and their army of supporters attacked one of the jurors. They said that there was a case of mistaken identity with juror number 15 because he lied about his age. Their theory was that there are two people living in the same address, a father and son, and the father was summoned to be part of the jury but his son was the one who attended. Who would think of such a narrative because that sounds so creative? To the judge and the Depp team, this was unbelievable. Choosing the jurors is a long and difficult process. Not anyone can enter the courtroom. Plus, they could have made a deeper background check on the juror if they wanted to before the trial started. It's been a month since the jury deliberated and their verdict was given. Why are they only bringing this up now? Isn't that a bit fishy? It seems like they're planning something bigger here since they wanted to keep the documents sealed. They should just accept defeat and move on. So you see, the judge didn't say anything when Amber Heard and her lawyers started defaming her. She just couldn't stand it when it was the jurors they were attacking this time. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching.